All right, man, Joe Flacco has strung together a few good games in a row now since getting picked up off the couch by the Browns. So I wanted to really go in and break down how he's been able to play so good over these past couple of weeks. So I'm going to jump specifically into his last game against the Jets where he balled out in the first half to see what he was able to do right so he could have such a good performance. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, man, Joe Flacco and the Browns rolling right now. And on this first play, all we're going to get is a deep curl. He's going to run like he's kind of running a crosser, then stick it out like he's running a fade. Then he's going to shut it down on a curl route. And then we have this guy chipping here, getting out in the flat, chip, flat, and then another curl on this side right here. And Joe Flacco can just pick whichever side. To add on top of this route combination right here, you usually wouldn't run this by itself because you want play action to go along with it so you can pull these backers up so there's no one in your throwing windows when you're throwing these curls. So Joe Flacco's going to pick the top side up here. Elijah Moore, boom, he wins. Joe Flacco getting ready to release the ball right as Elijah Moore is coming out of his break. Elijah Moore's got to come back to the ball. That's exactly what he does. Makes a great catch for a big chunk. Sadly right here, watch Elijah Moore. He pushes off pretty hard, pushes DJ Reed in the back, which is why he has so much separation. That has nothing to do with Joe Flacco. Joe Flacco executed the play exactly how it's supposed to be executed. Hit his back foot. Waited to see the corner turn his hips vertical. Right when he did, ball. Right on Elijah Moore's face mask. Should have been a big chunk. I love watching it from the back angle right here because you can really see Joe Flacco still has the arm strength. Watch when he gets in his base, hits the back of his drop. Watch him just flick this ball out. Flick. Boom. Right on the face mask. But because of Elijah Moore's penalty, it put us behind the sticks. So now we're in third and long. And all we're trying to run is go here and then a deep dig behind it to the sticks. And this is all we're trying to hit. We're trying to hit this dig at the sticks for a first down. But any decent team knows that you're probably trying to hit something at the sticks. Usually a curl or a dig. So all they're going to do is drop their hook curls right underneath it to take that window away. But on top of this, you have a chip, and you have a check down right here by David Njoku, and Joe Flacco is going to realize that there's a lot of space to throw into, and you're going to see it right here. Joe Flacco sees that this guy's just going to drop under this dig that's coming right here. This guy's dropping in the window. So you might as well throw this as early as possible to let David Njoku work and maybe get the first down. And uh, what happens? Joe Flacco does exactly that, and David Njoku does what he does and goes and gets some crazy yardage after the catch. Watch Joe Flacco right here. Watch how decisive he is. It's third and long. Boom. Doesn't like the dig. Comes off. Njoku now. Ball. And then Njoku really is breaking out to be the tight end that the Browns need him to be. Great stuff. First down. Next play here. All we got, a little play action. We're going to get Joe Flacco rolling out here, and all we're trying to run, clear out by Elijah Moore. We got a crosser coming by David Njoku. We have a crosser going to the other side, and then we have this guy chipping and then getting out in the flat. So on the play action rollout, all Joe Flacco's looking at is one here and then two down to his check down right here. We're trying to get this play action because we've been running the ball good on this drive. We want these backers to step up and towards the run so we can throw this crosser right here behind their heads. You're going to see it ends up working out pretty good. Joe Flacco rolls out. He sees this backer here, but he sees all this grass for Ninjoku to run into. He's going to have to put it over this guy's head, which isn't an easy throw, but he does exactly that. Puts it over his head. The guy can't reach it. Ninjoku makes a great catch as well for another huge, huge chunk. Watching it from this angle right here, you can really see how good of a throw it is. Roll out. Boom. You see the crosser right here coming. You got to put it over this guy. This is a pretty... He's pretty close to it. It's a pretty hard throw. Watch Joe Flacco just flick this ball out right here. Right over his head for a big-time catch and a big-time run after the catch. Just great overall play right there. Let's go. And then on the very next play right here, all we got, we got Ninjoku coming up and running this spot right here. Then we have the running back coming out and running a flat right here. But in reality, Ninjoku knows he's not getting the ball. His only job right here is... It's to get in this guy's way because they know he's manned up on the running back. So if Njoku gets in his way right here, it's going to leave the running back free for a touchdown. It doesn't turn out being as free as you'd think, but it still ends up being a great touchdown right here. Watch Njoku. He's able to run into him, drone forward, does the rest, and scores a touchdown. I'm going to slow it down right here so you can see what Njoku does. Boom. Comes off the ball. Make sure he bumps that guy just a little bit. To give Jerome Ford a little bit of room, break a tackle, first touchdown of the game, great first drive. 
Next play here, we got another third and long. All the Browns are trying to get. They got a deep comeback right here to the sticks. They have David Njoku coming across on a drag if it's man. You also got a deep curl right here to the sticks. And then you just got this guy clearing out for the drag if you're going to want to throw that. So in my opinion, it's probably just an alert to this comeback here. So if you like it pre-snap, you can throw it. If not, you come to your drag, one, and then you come back, two, to your curl. You're kind of just reading it high, low right here. But what you're going to see happen right here, you're going to see Joe Flacco peak that comeback, doesn't like it, comes back to the middle of the field. Right when he sees Ninjoku cross this linebacker's face and he's beat, he just throws it out here, lofts it out here, lets Ninjoku run underneath it because there's nobody there for it. This guy cleared everything out. They're in man coverage, so there's nobody else over here. And then you have Ninjoku with all this grass to run, and the third down mark is right here. Great decision. Ninjoku beats his man pretty easily and turns it into another huge gain. Watching it from here, it's even crazier. CJ Mosley's going to grab Ninjoku right there, which causes Ninjoku to be off his running a little bit. So he ends up having to catch this with one hand because C.J. Mosley throws him off right there. Absolutely insane overall play. Great job by Flacco being decisive and getting it out in man coverage to convert a huge third down. Next play here, it's a big fourth down. We're going for it. All we got is seam, seam, and then an in behind everything on the goal line. And then we got a switch release right here with Elijah Moore running an out. And then Cedric Tillman coming out, switching with him, and running a seam right here, or like a post right there. Joe Flacco decides to go to this bottom side down here, and I love his decision here because these corners, they're not just playing straight man coverage. What they're doing is the outside corner is taking whatever comes out first, and the inside corner is taking whatever comes in first. So when Elijah Moore runs in and Cedric Tillman runs out, this guy takes Cedric Tillman out, so when Cedric Tillman cuts in on the seam, he has leverage on this corner, and right when Joe Flacco sees that, he sees it here, boom. He knows that Cedric Tillman has leverage on him, so he's just going to put it somewhere around here, and Cedric Tillman has to go get it. But for some reason, Cedric Tillman just kind of drifts up the field, lazy about it, doesn't run, and if he runs right here, it's an easy touchdown. But for some reason, he doesn't, he doesn't think he's getting the ball. Cedric Tillman right here has to flatten this out because Joe Flacco is trying to throw him away from this guy. He's trying to throw it here so he can run away from him, not here where he can undercut it and make a play on it. Cedric Tillman has to know that, and I think this should have been a touchdown. I just think it wasn't because it's a rookie receiver. Next play right here, this is exactly why you want your team to have a good run game. So on the field right now, we have two tight end, or three tight ends and a running back. So the defense is thinking run, 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 and they're in straight man coverage right here. What we're going to get is we're going to get a play action right here we're going to get Ninjoku helping right here and getting out in the flat. Then we're going to have this tight end coming down in here like he's helping block. And he's going to get out on a corner route, which fools the linebacker. He jumps in thinking it's run, which leaves him wide open right here. And this is just why you want to have a good run game because play action works so much better. Joe Flacco does a good job selling it, sees it, flicks it out there on the money. Great catch. Another huge chunk. First, watch these backers right here fill the running lanes extremely hard. They fill them extremely hard. All these backers are in here. They're thinking, run, run, run. Joe Flacco, look at the ball right here, acting like he doesn't have the ball. 84, sneaking out here. This, this guy right here has no chance at guarding him. He's already committed to the run. Slow motion, Joe Flacco, just put it out there. Don't make it harder than it needs to be. Right on the money. Great catch. Let's go. Next play here, absolutely love this from the Browns. All we got, we're going to motion David Njoku over right here to right here. And if someone follows him, you know they're in man coverage. Sauce is going to follow Njoku across. So Joe Flacco knows they're in man coverage. He knows where he's going pre-snap. He's got Elijah Moore one-on-one -on -one with this corner right here. He likes the matchup. He's just running a little corner route right here. And then Njoku is going to get motioned out over here and just running out and then return it in. And all he's doing is high-lowing this, but since it's man coverage, he knows he's got a one-on-one -on -one with, with Elijah Moore because they only have one high safety. He's going to take advantage of it right here. Watch it. On the money throw. Great route. Turns into a big-time touchdown. So Sauce follows, like I said. Sees Elijah Moore one-on-one. -on -one. Great route. Put it out there. Flatten him out away from this guy. Put it right here on the edge of the goal line where only your guy can get it. And his guy does get it. 
for a big time touchdown. I really want to emphasize the route right here by Elijah Moore. He's going to sail like he's going inside right here. Stick going inside. Got him. It's over. Flick it out there, Joe Flacco. Great throw. On time. Let's go. And then finally, man, you couldn't have made this video without putting this play in it. All the Browns are running. Go here. Sail from Ninjoku here. Chip here. Getting out in the flat. So all Joe Flacco's looking at is high, low. And then he has a drag coming as his third option. And then he has the running back helping here and then getting out over here as his check down. But as you're going to see right here, nothing really comes open on the sale concept side. He's look, he's trying to throw to David Njoku. Doesn't really get open. He wants to throw it here. You can tell he has his arm back. But he can't because he gets pressure in his face. <laughs> gets pressure in his face. Gets hit in the face. Still finds a way to get out of it. Keeps his eyes downfield. And just makes an incredible play out of nothing. Absolutely unbelievable, and then let Jerome Ford do what he does and score a touchdown. I mean, this play right here is a play you don't expect from any quarterback, but especially a quarterback coming off the couch. I mean, he wants to throw the cell right there, can't throw it because he has pressure, gets hit in the face, tucks the ball like he's finna run, and then puts the ball in his back in his hands like he's going to throw it, puts it right on the running back. And then the running back goes and scores a touchdown for him. Just an absolutely insane play. And it's more than what the Browns could have ever asked for out of a guy they were picking up off the couch. But that's going to wrap it up. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, feel free to go down, hit that subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. Joe Flacco, man, playing really good football. If he continues to play like this, the Browns seriously can beat anybody that they're going to play against in the playoffs. So hopefully he can sustain this level of play into the playoffs and throughout the playoffs because it'll be exciting to see what the Browns can accomplish with this level of quarterback play. But with that being said, I'll catch all of you guys in the next video.